Can you believe there's a venom on this planet that can trap the human body in a painful, hours-long erection? Hold on to that thought, because before we get there, we're starting with one that makes people beg doctors to cut their own limb off. Stonefish. You don't even realize what you stepped on at first. Just a dull pressure under your foot. Then the pain detonates. Not sharp. Catastrophic. It feels like your bones are being crushed while electricity is poured directly into the wound. Victims describe it as pain so overwhelming it becomes disorienting, like your brain can't process reality anymore. Muscles seize. Nausea hits instantly. Some people scream without realizing they're screaming, and other have genuinely begged doctors to amputate the affected limb, not because it's damaged, but because the pain feels endless. That stonefish venom entering your body through needle-sharp spines, hidden on what looked like an ordinary rock. The venom doesn't melt tissue or spread slowly. It locks onto pain receptors and forces them to fire non-stop at full intensity. There's no rhythm, no relief. Just a constant signal telling your brain that something is catastrophically wrong. And what makes this cruel is how doctors treat it. Not with numbing drugs, but heat. Near scalding water. Because the venom proteins collapse when cooked. You don't soothe the pain. You outlast it. At least this agony stays localized. The next one doesn't. Black Mamba. At first, it feels almost disappointing. A light bite, a strange tingling. People have brushed it off until their eyelids start drooping. Their words blur together. Their tongue feels heavy. And then comes the realization that their chest isn't rising the way it should. Black Mamba venom doesn't hurt much. It disconnects you. Neurotoxins race through the bloodstream and silently shut down communication between nerves and muscles. Your mind stays clear while your body stops responding, like being locked inside a machine that's powering down piece by piece. Without anti-venom, breathing simply stops. Not violently, just quietly. And the unsettling part? The black mamba isn't aggressive. It doesn't waste venom. When it bites, it assumes the job is done. If that sounds terrifying, the next one does the same thing. Only smaller, quieter, and far more deceptive. Blue-ringed octopus. You might not even feel the bite. Maybe a faint pinch, maybe nothing at all. Minutes later, your lips go numb. Your fingers tingle. Then your arms refuse to move. Your legs follow. Panic rises. But your lungs don't respond. The blue-ringed octopus carries tetrodotoxin, a venom so potent it shuts down nerve signals entirely. Not pain. Not damage. Just silence. Your body becomes a conscious statue. Fully aware as paralysis spreads upward and breathing becomes impossible. There is no antidote. Survival depends on artificial ventilation until the venom wears off. And the eerie irony? Those glowing blue rings aren't a threat display. They're a warning born of fear. The octopus doesn't want to kill you. It just refuses to die. At least that shutdown is fast. The next venom waits. Irukanji jellyfish. The sting barely registers. A mild irritation. Some people don't even leave the water. Then, 20 minutes later, their body turns against itself. The pain doesn't come from the sting. It comes from everywhere. Crushing chest pressure, violent muscle spasms, uncontrollable vomiting, blood pressure skyrockets. Victims report a sense of absolute doom so intense they're convinced they're dying even before doctors confirm something is wrong. The Irukanji jellyfish injects venom that floods the body with stress hormones forcing your system into a fight-or-flight state that never shuts off. Your heart races. Blood vessels constrict. The body is pushed beyond its safe limits by its own chemistry. People have suffered strokes from the stress response alone. And for years, doctors didn't believe patients until the body started stacking up. Now, for something that looks harmless, almost cute. Duck-billed platypus. The pain doesn't explode. It settles in. Deep, persistent, unignorable. Victims say it feels like their hand has been filled with broken glass and wired directly into their nervous system. Painkillers fail. Morphine barely touches it. The limb becomes useless, hypersensitive, and swollen. Male duck-billed platypuses inject venom through spurs on their hind legs, delivering compounds that amplify pain signals instead of damaging tissue. Every movement becomes torture. Every touch feels wrong. It rarely kills, but that's not the point. This venom evolved for mating season designed to incapacitate rivals without ending the fight permanently. Nature didn't make this venom to kill. It made it 
to humiliate. Now, let's talk about the one you've probably been waiting for. Brazilian Wandering Spider. The pain is immediate, burning, then sweating, then confusion, and then something deeply wrong happens. Blood rushes where it shouldn't and refuses to leave. And then, unexpectedly, an erection that won't go away. Victims have reported painful, hours-long priapism that continues even as other muscles begin to fail. It's not arousal, it's neurological sabotage. The Brazilian wandering spider's venom overstimulates nerves that control blood flow, locking vessels open like valves jammed in the wrong position. The body receives a command it never gets to undo. Without treatment, respiratory failure can follow. And the strange medical irony? Researchers are studying this venom as a treatment for erectile dysfunction, a nightmare side effect turned into pharmaceutical gold. But not all venom announces itself right away. Burrowing Asp Sometimes nothing happens at first. No pain, no panic, just a small bite you barely remember. Hours later, the muscle starts aching. Swelling creeps in. Then tissue begins to die from the inside. The burrowing asp uses sideways folding fangs that stab rather than strike, injecting cytotoxic venom that dissolves cells quietly and efficiently. By the time victims realize the danger, the damage is already done. Amputation isn't uncommon. The venom doesn't rush. It waits for you to underestimate it. If that slow burn unsettles you, the next one shuts everything down with surgical precision. Cone snail. The sting feels sharp. Then numbness spreads. Speech becomes difficult. Vision dims. Muscles stop responding in sequence, like switches being flipped off one by one. Cone snails fire venomous harpoons, loaded with hundreds of toxins, each targeting a different nerve pathway. Pain, movement, breathing, all dismantled systematically. There's no antidote. Yet somehow, this venom has led to the development of some of the strongest non-addictive painkillers ever created. One of the most efficient killers in the ocean became a source of relief. The next venom doesn't choose one system. It attacks all of them. Inland Taipan. Bleeding starts internally. Muscles break down. Kidneys fail. The blood loses its ability to clot. Victims remain conscious as their body dismantles itself from the inside. The inland taipan delivers venom that attacks nerves, muscles, and blood simultaneously. A biochemical ambush. It's the most toxic snake venom ever recorded. And yet, bites are incredibly rare. This snake avoids humans whenever possible. The deadliest venom on Earth belongs to a creature that prefers to be left alone. And the final venom doesn't give you that option. Box jellyfish. The pain is instant. Not stinging. Branding. Skin erupts as if burned by live wire. Some victims collapse before they can even react. Box jellyfish venom attacks the heart directly. Thousands of microscopic stingers fire at once, flooding the bloodstream with toxins that can trigger cardiac arrest in minutes. People have been pulled from the water fully conscious, heart failing, skin destroyed, with almost no time left. And the final cruelty? Vinegar can stop unfired stingers, but it can't undo what's already been delivered. So the next time something looks small, harmless, or beautiful, remember this descent, because danger doesn't always chase. Sometimes it just waits. If you made it all the way to the end, let me know by liking the video. It helps more than you think. Subscribe if you want more deep dives like this, and comment which venom surprised you the most, because chances are, there's one you'll never forget.